Shall we go on with the exercises given in your textbook? The first one that you have is say true or false. Okay, the first one. Helen lost her ability to hear and see when she was four years old. Is it true or false? Yes, very good. It's false. When did she lose her ability to see and hear? When she was one and a half years old, she became seriously sick and she lost all her um, visionary uh, ability and also the ability to hear. So it is false. The second one, Anne Sullivan was a student of Perkins School. That's true, isn't it? Who sent her? Actually, um, Helen Keller's mother wrote to the Perkins School and who recommended Perkins School? Alexander Graham Bell. Now, when we read about Alexander Graham Bell, uh, we also read that he was the inventor of telephones. But you know, it's a, the saddest thing is, though he invented the telephone, he has never made a call to his wife or his daughter. You know why? Because both of them did not have the ability to hear. So he could not speak to them over the phone, his invention. Okay, so Anne Sullivan was a student of the Perkins School. That's true. The next one, flower was the first word taught by Anne to Helen. Was flower the first word? No, we just read that Anne Sullivan put her hand under the spout and she opened the tap and when the water fell on her hand, she wrote on the other hand W-A-T-E-R, that is water. So water was the first word that she learned. And so this is false. The next one. Helen's first book, The Story of My Life, has been translated into 32 languages. Was it 32? No, it was 50 languages. So this again is false. The next Question, Anne's arrival changed Helen's life totally. That's true. Okay. Now the next exercise is answer the following questions. What made Helen unable to see and hear? Helen was unable to see and hear because... She fell seriously ill at the age of one and a half and she lost all the powers to see and hear. Okay. What made her unable? It was the fever that she suffered at the age of one and a half. So you can write over there because she became seriously ill at the age of one. One and a half. Okay. Next question, what was the most important day in Helen's life? The most important day in Helen's life was when Anne Sullivan came to teach her. Okay, you can just write it down. You want me to write it on the board? Okay, I'll just write it uh, down, the first one. The first question, the answer is when she became seriously ill.
second question. What was the most important day in Helen's life? The most important day in Helen's life was when she met Anne Sullivan, her teacher. Okay, the next question. What did Anne Sullivan want for her student Helen? Anne Sullivan wanted Helen to um, explore the world and ask questions to explore nature. To explore the world. and ask questions to experience or uh, to uh, experience nature. Okay, the next question, what were the different things Helen learnt? The different things that Helen learnt were, what were they? Playing chess, riding horses, riding a horse and also folding clothes, three things she learnt. Apart from that she also learnt three other languages but uh, here they have asked different things that Helen learnt were, um, playing chess, Folding clothes. You can just put an hand here. Okay. Next we have another exercise. Instances from her life. I'll clean the board here. Okay, the first one, does Helen Keller's life inspire you? How? Okay, the first two boxes uh, you can take from the instances of her life, uh, her interest in learning. Okay, in spite of her disabilities, she, uh, she seemed to write or she seemed to write a book, she seemed to translate which the book which was translated into 50 languages okay her interest in learning you can uh, what else can we talk about in spite of her uh, disability she wanted to learn and also write a book okay can we write that as a box there In spite of her disability, disabilities, she uh, went on to write, uh, she learnt and then went on to write, okay. To write a book. Okay, next one, respect for diverse abilities. She showed keen uh, interest in exploring and experimenting the world 
and uh, what else can you say here okay she this is the first two boxes you write here and you can also add here write a book which was translated you can continue in the second box which was translated Okay, the second box you can write showed a keen interest in exploring the world. And uh, what else? Uh, she also uh, she wrote uh, the book that she wrote for the was for the benefit of others, isn't it? That itself uh, proves that she was not only interested in studies but also showed interest in other people of her own kind to learn. Okay, and this uh, she showed keen interest in exploring the world. And getting to know more things about the world and its nature. Okay, next one, persistence. What can you write? She went on to uh, learn how to see chess is a very uh, tedious game. It's not like other uh, fun games. But still she went on to learn how to play chess. And riding a horse is quite a tough uh, thing to learn. That also she learned. Okay, she learned these two. And uh, she kept on, she kept on learning till the end. She had visions for the future and she kept on learning. So shall I clean the board this side and write the answers here? Okay, she, I'll just write here. She learned to play. Which, which proves that she was persistent. Persistent means without giving up, she went on to do things. Okay. And she was a visionary and a pioneer. She learned till the end. Visionary and a visionary and a pioneer. Okay, 